Hello, and welcome to randystropicalplants.com. I'm down here under the shade of my tree ferns. I use the plural of the word because these Asplenium nidises, believe it or not, are an actual tree fern. Eventually, they grow a trunk on them, just like the Cyathea australis here, the Australian tree fern does. It takes them much longer. I've seen specimens that had trunks that were over four feet tall, but they were very, very old. Here's a close-up of the trunk on this Asplenium nidus. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but you can see it's actually just a tangle of roots. Uh, this one's been in the ground for about six and a half years. It was about a two and a half inch pot when I planted it, so it's, it's grown up to the size it is completely on its own in the ground. This one's been in the ground about five years. Um, I've had a lot of arguments with people as to whether or not they are tree ferns, and they really are. Here's the trunk. I just weeded this bed and I'm about to mulch it and so I thought what a perfect opportunity to show you how this plant really does grow a trunk as you can you can see it here it's only about four and a half inches tall uh, but it, it, it slowly grows the trunks on all tree ferns are really just a mass of roots uh, I have a, a piece of a, of a, of a cyathea trunk that I'll show you a little bit in a little bit this is an old Cyathea australis that I had. I tried moving it from the front of my yard to the back of my yard and it went through severe shock and died. But I saved it because this fiber here is really excellent for growing orchids on, as any orchid enthusiast would be able to tell you. And so I saved it just so that I could mount some orchids onto it possibly. But it makes a good demonstration of how the trunk on this plant is really just a big mass of roots, very thick fibrous roots. They like a lot of water in the ground. I've been growing these in the ground for about six and a half years and, and I've had a lot of arguments with people as to whether or not they can be grown in the ground. Well, they can. Uh, they need a lot of water. Because the trunk is a mass of roots, you really want to get these trunks good and wet. Don't just water the soil around the base of them. Really water that trunk. And I'm about to mulch these in really well to keep them good and hydrated. Uh, but they do quite well. A really cold winter will burn them. I've had them get severely burned, but they come right back. So uh, I think they're a great addition to a landscape. But I just wanted to clear up the fact for people, anybody that in the future tells me that these plants are not tree ferns and that they cannot be grown in the ground in Tampa, Florida, uh, I will just refer them to this video. Uh, we've got another little cool little tree fern over here. This is a, a Blechnum. This is a Blechnum gibbum. This is from Polynesia. This doesn't get as tall and it doesn't get as big around as a Cyathea, but they're a very beautiful, beautiful tree fern. And uh, I, just, I just acquired this in trade, so that's a fun new specimen that I got. Uh, I am growing these guys from spores right now. I'm about to start growing some uh, Cyathea australis from spores as well. And I'll eventually have them available, but they're not an uncommon plant. You can get them almost anywhere. I got these at Home Depot for three bucks when they were in a little pot that size. Anyway, this has been the Asplenium Ferns. Thanks for watching.